What's going on ladies and gentlemen? I know it's been a little while, been I think like a month or so since I've made a video, which is way longer than I was hoping to go, but had a ton of work to do with finals, but I am finally graduated from college. I am now an educated man. I had a request from a subscriber named Martin Fisher to talk about circle hooks with you guys a little bit and their benefits and really why I think that they're the best hook that you could potentially use for fishing carp. So let's hop into it. So I'm going to put a picture up here and it's going to be a diagram between a J hook and a circle hook. So with the J hook you can see comes around, point goes straight out, but the circle hook, the point is tucked back in towards the shank. Now this is super, super important and this is the what makes a circle hook a cir circle hook. That point being bent in towards the shank is what keeps you from gut hooking fish. And when I first started carp fishing, I f me and my buddy Shane are the ones that really learned, taught ourselves how to do it. He's been in a couple carp fishing videos with We would use a treble hook down to a swivel, down to maybe um, a barrel weight. And we were gut hooking so many fish and it just it isn't sustainable. I hate gut, gut hooking fish, especially something like a carp where you're not going to keep it and eat it. If it was a crappie or a walleye or, or, or perch or something, I'm not feeling as bad about it because there's a good chance I'm keeping that fish anyway. So where it gets hooked doesn't really matter. But carp aren't a good eating fish. It's something you're going to throw back and you're going to want to catch again because they are a blast to fish for. So anything that you can do to reduce the amount of gut hooks you get, always a good thing in my opinion. Now the circle hooks I use, I use the Gamagatsu Octopus Circles in a size 1. I've seen some stuff on forums about people complaining that they aren't getting hookups with circle hooks and they're using 8s and 10s you need a bigger hook because with the smaller hook the way the circle hook works is it comes out of the throat of the fish and it cams along the edge of the fish's mouth and hooks them but if you're using too small of a hook that gap isn't wide enough to get around the um, on the edge of the fish's mouth rather so you really need to use a much larger sized hook than you would normally use I love using them for mainly soft mouthed fish. What I mean by that is bullhead, carp, um, suckers, if I'm fishing suckers to catch some bait, those are what I really use circle hooks for because those are the only fish I really use bait for. Circle hooks are designed around fishing with bait. You can use them for senkos and other things like that. I know, I know a couple guys that use them wacky rigged on a senko for bass. I just haven't tried it for myself yet to recommend it as a, it does work or it doesn't work. Give it a shot. Let me know how it works for you. I plan on trying it this summer because wacky rigging Senkos, I do gut hook a good number of fish and that's something I've been trying to work on. The other benefit of the circle hooks for me at least is hookup ratio and how well hooked up fish stay stuck on that hook. Every single time I've ever hooked a carp it has been in the corner of the mouth with a circle hook. Otherwise, with the treble hooks, you hook them in the back of the gill plate, you hook them in the throat, you hook them in the mouth. Doesn't matter. Circle hook every single time, every single fish I've caught. This is well over 100 fish at this point, probably closer to 200, has been right there in the corner of the mouth, no issues. Pop it right out with a pair of pliers, no issues, no harm done to the fish, no undue harm done to the fish. They don't ruin the fish like people say. You just, you can't unhook it like a normal hook. Instead of pushing straight back, you need to twist as you push back. That's what will damage a fish. If you try pushing it straight back, it'll rip out because that hook point acts as a secondary barb. So you need to twist it as you're pushing it back and follow the bend of the hook. I think that's a big reason why guys are having trouble with hurting the fish with the circle hooks. But like I said, the hookup ratio is phenomenal. I have lost three fish since I've had started using circle hooks. Three fish that were actively running I have lost. I mean never hooked up. I've lost two or three more than that coming off of the off of the circle hook after they were already pinned. But like I said two out of 150, 200 I would say that's a pretty damn good ratio. I don't even know how many I lost on treble hooks because the thing that makes the circle hook so much better than the standard J style or octopus style hook is the way that hook barb, the way the hook point tucks in rather, it acts as a secondary barb. 
the way it goes into the fish's mouth, it doesn't stick straight through like this. It comes through and hooks around. So if that fish wants to unpin himself, he's going to have to turn and then pull. He can't just shake and then it'll fall out like that. It's incredible the difference it's made. I I was kind of skeptical, skeptical about it to begin with. I had never fished circle hooks before, before I started fishing for carp. I tried them, my buddy tried them, and side to side, him using treble hooks, me using circle hooks, I was hooking up on fish and he was missing fish, and I was keeping fish pinned when he was losing fish. The only th reason that I ever lose fish anymore is they get wrapped up in timber or they get wrapped up in weeds. That's the only time I lose fish now. I would suggest anybody going out for any kind of, anything you fish for with bait really, carp, catfish, bullhead, suckers, I don't know. Try it on everything. I know saltwater guys love them for tuna and tarpon and stuff. If you can catch a tuna on it, you know it's a damn good system. So I guess that's my little spiel on circle hooks and why I believe they're the greatest reinvention of the hook in since we started adding eyes to hooks. But that's a story for a different day. So if you have any questions at all, feel free to drop me a comment in the comment box down below. Otherwise, hit that button right there and subscribe and I'll throw a video up there for you. My name's Gator and I'll see you later. Goodbye and God bless.